Hello again, my possessed partygoers, to another treat or terror. I'm Fox, any pronouns, and today we're on Treehouse of Horror 30, an exciting number. We open on a parody of The Omen, and Marge giving labor to her third child, a baby boy. Homer can't handle it, so Dr. Hibbert offers to give them a baby girl instead. She tested positive for evil. Good for her. Maggie demonstrates her demonic powers here and there, catching the attention of Ned. He's ready to kill her, but Maggie proves too powerful. Good for her. And then we see that this is episode 666, so they better make up for episode 600. Honestly, a pretty delightful opening. I'm revved up to see what's in store next. First up is Danger Things. A parody of Stranger Things. It's the 80s, and Bart and company are playing the Atari 2600 in the treehouse. Afterwards, they all part ways, and something takes Millhouse. We get a bunch of 80s references and references to Stranger Things. Millhouse contacts the others, and they go to Frink for help. Lisa goes into a deprivation tank and travels to the over-under, finding Millhouse. They explore a twisted version of Springfield. We get a fun murder of comic book guy. Lisa has psychic powers due to feminism. Then it turns out Homer's job is to burn the monsters. But they can't leave, so everyone now lives in the over-under. Well, this was certainly not very good. Boring is the main word I would use. It's just reference after reference with little creativity, little to actually say, little to entertain. They really tried to cram a lot in a short amount of time, without giving any of it much thought. It's very funny that they can't even dig up a single black character to match Stranger Things, though. Next, we have Heaven Swipes Right. Which the wiki tells me is a parody of Heaven Can Wait. Homer chokes on a hot dog while at a football game and dies. Up at Heaven, which was sold to Google, he learns that he wasn't supposed to die yet. However, his body is in no condition for his soul to return to. So he's instead put in the body of someone who was supposed to die today. He chooses the body of a football player and goes to Marge. After making love, Marge wakes to see Homer has already gotten fat and bald. So he chooses a new body. Superintendent Chalmers. He and Bart fuck around with Skinner, but then ends up dying after seeing his paycheck. Finally, he ends up in Moe's body, who is now inside of Maggie. That ending gag was the only part of this I enjoyed. I have to say, once again, boring. So boring, I really don't have anything to talk about. There is no reason to seek this one out. Life is too precious and finite to waste the few minutes it takes to watch this one. We end with When Harry Met Slimy. The title is referencing When Harry Met Sally, a famous rom-com, while the plot itself is a parody of The Shape of Water. Someone takes center stage, sharing a smoke with Kang. They romance each other, and it's as hilarious as it is heartwarming. But their love is interrupted by Burns. Hello. Just want you to know we'll be dissecting you tomorrow. But I could teach you the secret of clean, natural energy. Then I'll dissect you tonight. Selma calls Homer who's eager to help her leave Earth forever. He helps Smuggle Kang out, driving up to Mount Springfield where Kodos appears. But Selma has been shot. So Kang uses the Infinity Gauntlet to destroy the armed forces before magically healing her and revealing that he's pregnant. And then Velma arrives and swoons at Kodos, but pointing out she's gay. Kodos says that's okay, he has 32 sexual identities, and frankly, that's a better career rep than The Simpsons has given us for a while. While the ending was lacking, honestly, there are some good laughs in this one. Best of the bunch. Still only a high C. We get treated to a clip collage of past treehouses, as the show reminds us this is what they thought was good enough for the 666th episode. Overall, it was very disappointing. We started off so strong with evil Maggie, then it quickly went downhill. Even when I thought they were going to stick the landing, it fell short. I really just do not have much left to say. And these segments didn't inspire much commentary. Hopefully the next treehouse will fare better. Thanks for joining my lucid screaming.